Hi friends, here's a lovely story by S.N. Goenka that contains within it a beautiful insight. The story begins with a man who is really hungry and on his way he sees a restaurant. And as he looks at the window of the restaurant, he's, he reads the menu card on the restaurant window. And just reading the, uh, the description, uh, he feels that oh, the food here must be good. And now he enters the restaurant, orders his meal. Of course, the food doesn't come right away. So he's waiting for a while. And as he's waiting, he's looking around the restaurant and uh, thinking to himself, oh, it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. This restaurant is packed. And looking at the facial features of the people who are eating and how they are in being engaged, I can tell that the food must be good, must be delicious. It's only when the food actually arrives for him and he puts the first morsel in his mouth, then he knows that indeed the food is delicious. So this story sort of summarizes the three ways we learn things. The first way, when he saw the, the menu on the window, this is what's called inferred understanding. So just by reading the description, he learned, you know, he, he knew that uh, the food must be good. Then the second one, when he sat in the restaurant for a while and he started to think, this is called discerned understanding, when he used his gray matter to figure it out. Figure it out. And finally, the third part is called experiential understanding, when he actually experienced with the actual taste of the food in his mouth. Now, the first one is very helpful, you know, because if you do not know, then you would be ignorant. You wouldn't know that something would exist. So when we get good at getting information from friends, from, from the internet or from magazines, newspapers, we become knowledgeable. So if we do not have that, we're ignorant. So it's helpful. The second one, this discerned understanding, if you don't use our gray matter to figure things out, is it logical, pragmatic, reasonable, scientific, does it make sense, rational? If you do not do that, then we will not use the, the gift of faculty of, of discerning. And people who do that, they, we, are call, we call them intellectual people. They're very intellectual. So they become from knowledgeable to intellectual. It's only when we actually dip into our own personal experience and, and know it to be true from an experiential point of view, that's called wisdom. So the first one is important because it informs us. The second one is important because once we figured it out and it makes sense, then we feel inspired, it inspires us. They serve to inform and inspire. But if you do not continue with the last step of actually experiencing it, then the wisdom is not, not there and instead it manifests as arrogance. I know because I've read it and I've thought, thought it through. So may our learning and our intellectual capacity to, to discern dip into direct experiential wisdom. And to me, what we call intelligence is our ability to capture the brightness and intensity of when we learn, how much do we actually absorb, when we discern how deep do we go in our intellectual reasoning, and when we experience, how rich is our experience. This, in total, is intelligence. So may we have wonderfully knowledgeable, intellectual, wise, intelligent lives. Much love.